this Doctora Chum of Skin Years. Doctora, yes. how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling happy for everybody is here. As you expected, thank you, children. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. First of all, lively. you look gorgeous. Who are you wearing today? Oh, I'm wearing Osaka from West Edmonton Mall and Christian Dior. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> So, granting that you've now opened Skin Your, yeah. how do you feel uh, about that accomplishment? Oh, as I've mentioned, uh, usually it's not my legacy that I'm telling, but I always bring the glory to God. Uh, with, the, with all the accomplishment that I have, as I mentioned earlier, that we always bring it to glory. But of course, having this one, it's always been a work of passion and dedication and a work of prayers and I tell you also with wisdom it's so important with people surrounding behind you and of course skin would not exist if we don't have the good stuff and also with good clientele yeah. behind every great person successful women around the world there's always people behind you yeah, what can you say to those people oh to those people uh, thank you so much yeah especially the older ones I really yeah not not older ones but more matured ones I always uh, show respect to them. Yes, we is Generation Gen. Are we Generation Gen? Z, yes, Gen yeah, yes. we are Generation Gen Z. Eh? Yeah, we already have this vision. We have different one, right? Yes. We have vision and different line of uh, marketing that we do. But I always uh, give respect to the work of experiences that the matured people have. Uh, that's the thing that you cannot pay. So I always uh, see to it. I always listen to them. Can you share to us a story when you were starting Skin Year that at one point you were like, I don't want to do this anymore? Or, and what kept you going to where you are now? Mm, that's a tough question, Jo Marie. Because uh, as, uh, as I've told you, once I go into things, I always see to it that there's no coming back. And I always give my best 100% food loan. Right, that's a, so that question that you told me that I am quitting, no, I'm not. Well, what I do, tough but, times. but tough, times. tough times. When tough times come, never that it across in my mind that I would back down. But what I, my greatest success is, I bend down my knees. When tough times come, I bend down my knees and I pray for that one. That's yes. what I do. Not for you, but that's, I know I've seen Michael Jordan, every Michael Jordan, even Denzel Washington. They told us, that when you go into the business, and one of the business owners knows that, when you go into the business, don't ever think to go down, to go back, but always move forward and spread out. But yeah, that's like that, deeper and bigger. So one, when one closes the other door, there's another door that would open. Uh, my name is Chris, and uh, basically I'm a business owner as well here in Edmonton, and uh, also in the Philippines. So I've known Champ for at least 13 years now. I say we came here, I think 2008. Okay. And I met her somewhere, I think 2012. 2012. Uh, Where was this? Can you take us back to that time? Yeah, remember, like you know, uh, Champ, I met her in the basement. He, she started like uh, this uh, skin lure mm -hmm. and uh, aesthetics. Sa basement pa lang siya nag operate okay. and that's that time is uh, nag start din ako ng clinic so we become friends we go out together and uh, we talk about business and uh, all the milestone nakita ko kung paano talaga nag ano uh, yung ang tiyaga ng taong to yung mas ang sobrang sipag and i've seen talaga na from the basement nagkaroon siya ng clinic and you know i'm become one of our her clients and even my wife and uh, and then yeah Ngayon, nandito na, look at this place. It's very uh, state-of-the-art facility, I must admit. Like, uh, she got a really uh, good equipment. I've seen the equipment. It's like the technology itself. I can even imagine a uh, charm would be able to uh, have this kind of equipment. And nakita ko sa mga aesthetic sa uh, uh, businesses, nakita ko talaga yung facility. It's, uh, it's really good. So you never had a doubt in your mind nung types na from the basement. Yeah, leading up, leading up to the first, first, first ever clinic, and now this it's, big one here. Yeah, so I think yes, it's no doubt at all. Because I, I know that she can do it. Yeah, and you've seen her. how hard she works and how passionate she was about what she was doing. And of course, her background as a uh, as a medical doctor yes. back in the Philippines, Philippines right? Yes. Why why can you doubt like a person that uh, you know ang daming education, uh, ang ganda ng education at that time. And when she came in Canada, like she's equipped, yeah. right? Equipped with knowledge. 
and now uh, as a business uh, person she was able to put it together and now she got this clinic and exactly. come on like this clinic is like really amazing exactly. I'm impressed yes. about the, uh, the like once again the technology and isa pang uh, I'm proud about Cham is uh, now because of the uh, she never stopped thinking right so I've seen that uh, nakita ko lang like I think two weeks ago that she already started to switch to EMR system. EMR is not even uh, known in the Philippines. EMR means like electronic medical record. So makikita mo wala ng papers dito. Ang ginagawa niya lahat is uh, mostly is uh, medical record is kept on the cloud. Meron na rin siyang online booking which is uh, she's ahead of the game. Exactly. Right? So, not just that and then very green. Exactly. Very green. That's right. Yeah. So to have the environment. Thank you so much, sir. And I just want to finish this off. And uh, yeah, once again, uh, congratulations to Dr. Cham. And uh, I'm really proud of her, her achievement. And of course, like, you know, we always talk about business and more power. That's it. Thank you, sir. What's your message to Doc? Of course. I know she's watching. Yeah, so uh, Dr. Cham, I know that uh, you're a really, really good person and a business minded person. Yun lang talaga. Hindi ko hindi mga keep up sa paying hard worker niya. Because for me, I, I want to work less and make more money, like, you know, I, I not produce more money. Yeah. I heard that from the, uh, you know, produce, you, uh, not profit, not profit, yeah. produce more exactly. money for her. She want to work hard and she want to produce more and more in money. Right. So exactly. thank you so much. Take us back to the first time you met Dong Chow. Fast forward to now. Okay. So we first met at a Philippine event, specifically at a Visman event, I remember. And then she approached me and she introduced herself. And then she told me about her background. And then uh, we had this connection, instant connection right away, because I went to school in Cebu, as you can see. I went to high school in Cebu at the University of San Jose Recoletos. I completed my bachelor's degree in mass communication at St. Teresa's College. That's how it started. And then uh, she told me about her business. And then, yeah, the rest is history. Was the business established then at that uh, time? She was just starting. Uh, I, I, right, yeah, she was just starting the business. And when we had our first session, actually, it was on her business. Yes, and then look at her now. Yes, and I, I have been a client since she started her business. That's I call it eight years. Yes, and then it's not only about the business, but it's about the friendship. I value the friendship more more than the service although the service is really good look at me what sort of service <laughs> 53 years what? old <laughs> wow what's, yes. what's your favorite uh, treatments that you get uh -oh. um I think I tried all the all tried the all of them? Yeah, I tried oh, the all of them. One, the and then, uh, about the cool. Oh, what was it? Oh, what, what was yeah. it? Tell us I'm not going to tell you a secret. No, because uh, she really mad at me. I'm getting free treatments. <laughs> Out of friendship. No, no, no. Well, yeah, yeah. It, but, eight years of friendship, yeah, but I think it's... I use all the products. I mean, you have to use the product for you to make it work, yes, right? Absolutely. Yes. Um, I have. I'm not a believer in all of this beauty, beauty stuff. Like when I was in the Philippines. Before, right? so it changed yes, your mind. It changed. She totally changed, it. and she introduced me to these treatments, non-invasive treatments, because I'm very scared I'm with scared like needles. <laughs> yes, I'm very scared with needles. I don't want anything you know, <laughs> going my skin. And sometimes you know. It goes left. It goes left. Yes. It goes left. So I said, uh, I would like to try only invasive, not invasive treatments. And, they and, and then here. the products. And they offer that here at Skin Bar. You'll never go wrong here at Skin Bar. And with Dr. Chum behind it, you're in good hands. Yes, you're in good hands. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're joined here today by Dessert. Chora. We used to make her. Chora. My name is Chora. Chora. Okay, Chora, what's your message to Dr. Chum and to the new clinic? Uh, I want to say thank you uh, to Dr. Chum for uh, taking care of me uh, whenever I need something to uh, improve my appearance and all. So I'm so happy for the opening of the Skin Lord Clinic and thank you Doc for having me here. How long have you been a client of Doc? Uh, about two years now. Two years? What's sort of the uh, go-to? I always uh, do the... I can't forget the, the name of it, but it's always like tightening my abs and all, and my arms. Oh, yeah. okay. So they offer that here too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, perfect. So Yeah, so if you guys are interested, you can uh, go ahead and um, inquire the clinic for uh, services for... Uh, 
your to improve your appearance with uh, Doc Chummy here. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, good morning, guys. We're joined here with Ryan. Ryan, what brings you to Skin here? So I actually know Chum. I'm the real estate agent that helped her find this location. So it's very exciting that it all kind of came through, and now we're here on grand opening day. Okay. Right. Have you personally had any treatments done by Doc Chum? I haven't yet. Not yet. I think okay. that'll be uh, maybe moving forward. Moving forward. forward. What are you most looking forward? forward? To get. Oh, actually, I think I know they got massage here too. I might have to definitely check okay. that out for sure, but we'll see. Yeah, okay. I'm sure Chum will have a better idea of what to make his face look yeah, a little bit nicer. She does right? the consultation. Yeah, yeah, she does we'll a pretty do good that. job. Yeah, yeah. And also, what's your wish for the skin year in Chum? Ultimately, just a lot of years of success and I know this is a big move for her and it's a lot of exposure and I think she's like just a really good person and Chum and Zab and the rest of the, the team here so I just I wish them many years of success and I think they'll definitely achieve that so it's exciting. Perfect, thank yeah. you so much. No worries, thank you.